Okay, right, Bob, hi. Hi. Hello, welcome to BF 2019, and congratulations on your Diamond Award for your latest film. <laughs> okay. Would you like to tell me about the film? As you probably know, it's based on the Skripal affair, the Salisbury business earlier in this year, where the Russian, uh, the two guys, approached the door and poisoned the knockers of, uh, of Mr. And Mr. Skripal and his daughter. The problem is, at the time, it all seemed highly unlikely. If you remember the, the tale, it was just unlikely. And so I've devised this three-minute satire on uh, how unlikely the whole script seems to be. And you did it so well, and it was hilarious. It was laugh-out-loud funny. <laughs> and, of course, we saw the relevance of the current the story in the news at the moment that it was a take-off from. Um, where did you get the idea from? Well, the idea came from the... the, the, the and you wrote the script, did you? I write the script because I also do the camera work and I'm in it as well, which sounds uh, the dreadful. Whole thing a one -man band? It's a one man band. Wonderful. But the thing about the film is that the story, when the story broke, it just didn't conclude within a month. It's a story that ran and ran and ran, and it's still running. Only now are people in Salisbury beginning to breathe a sigh of relief. So, rather unfortunately, my satire has been running alongside it. Uh, and has become quite popular on YouTube, I'm told. <laughs> and tell me how long you've been making films? I started when I was young, but I had a long pause in business in between, as many of us did, particularly when the change to VHS came. And then I came back into filmmaking when digital became much more effective, particularly high-definition digital and the use of digital SLR cameras, because that made a massive difference to how our amateur films can look, because they can look good, and modern computing methods have made them uh, very sharp, and you can make a short and approachable film that begins to look like a professional film. What's your favourite part of filmmaking? I like photography. In, in my current film, there isn't actually much opportunity for, for photography because the camera is standing off and I'm acting in front of it. But uh, there are moments in all my films which are available on Vimeo, should you ch just Google search my name. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and, lots of them there? <laughs> yes, you they're all there. Got? There's about 40 of them. Yeah. But of course, many of the short ones uh, because I've been very successful, I have to say, with these two to three minute films because you, they just they run past you. You don't have time to... the uh, cutting is quick and I base much of my dialogue and my scripts on a double or triple ending. Trying to outwit the audience, that's the problem. Trying to be ahead of the audience because, as you know, you write a story but everybody's trying to say to see the conclusion and I hope I write something in at the yeah. end that da baffles that. And you're very good at it. Okay. So congratulations on your Diamond Award and let's see what tomorrow holds. Who well, knows? I'm hoping to win. Maybe you'll be the winner because of the, of the, the well, Because it's a journalistic kind of film. I mean, what could appeal to a panel <laughs> <Good>. more? <laughs> good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you.